and welcome to another DocsDo tutorial on how to export Bleed from Illustrator. Okay, so firstly you want to open up your document. Here's a little one I made earlier. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is enable Bleed. You do that by going to File, Document Setup. Then in your Document Setup window, you'll have Bleed. So you want to set your bleed to around 3 mil. 3 mil is the industry standard. However, depending on your own personal needs, you may want to put in a different figure. So we're going to go with 3. Okay. So what you'll notice is there's a little red line that's appeared around the edge of your document. That is the bleed area. So what we want to do is extend all of the sort of background images, um, objects, and so on into that bleed area. So if we just go around, grab my object, drag that out. So drag these out. Pull that out. Okay. All right, so now what you'll notice is that everything's been extended to the bleed area. But as an overview, why do we do that? So if you go up to your view uh, drop down and you click on trim view, you notice that disappears. That's because we are now viewing what our final finished document will look like and what you should expect to receive um, as your printed um, document. So if we uncheck trim view again, the reason we do this is because this line here, this black line, which is the end, edge of your document, that's the line we cut into. So what happens is we print um, on industrial level um, your document slightly larger than is required. So that will be the extra three mil so that when we trim down your document, you're not left with white edges. For example, if we were to Pull that into about there. You know, it's a tiny white edge. Now, if we were to zoom out, you're not really necessarily going to notice that white edge. However, when it comes down to the final trim document, which will look something like this, you will notice the white edge and it will become more obvious. And this is why... And this is why we drag it out to the bleed edge to prevent those white borders from showing. Okay, so... Now that we've enabled Bleed, we want to export our document with the newly set up Bleed. So for this, uh, we're trying to do a PDF. So we'll go to File, Save As. Then from your drop-down menu, you want to select Adobe PDF. Um, for this example, we'll just save it to the desktop. So we're just going to save it as Bleed Example PDF. Fine. Um, click your Save button. Now you've got your uh, PDF dialog window open. So the area we're interested in for this tutorial will be the marks and bleed section. So as you can see, it's by default um, checked to use the document bleed settings that we set up previously. However, if you want to set your own bleed settings for whatever reason, you can uncheck this and then override and put in any figure you need. So again, we're using standard doc uh, three mil bleed that we set up earlier so we're going to hit save PDF and again this depending on the size of your document this could take up to a few minutes ours should be complete already so uh, here's the PDF we just produced so I'm going to open that in Acrobat quickly just so we can just, eh, don't need that get rid of that okay let's full screen this so we can have a little look okay so what you'll notice is you have a bunch of print boxes and um, by default I have my preferences set so that when I open Acrobat I can see the print boxes but this is partly because this is what I do every day. Um, you will most likely not have these showing um, and it depends on what sort of software you're using and um, there's various bits of preview software out there um, but you may have to uh, kind of tinker around with your preferences to actually um, see these lines. So in my example you'll notice the green line is the outside uh, or the edge of your document and the blue line is the bleed of your document um, 
So our document was 210 by 297, which is A4 standard size. So if you notice down here, you can see that 3mm of bleed has been added to each of those edges, which has brought the document dimension size up to 216 by 303. So I know um, just from that measurement that bleed has been added, and it's also, in my instance, indicated by the blue line. So I can see that my artwork has gone beyond the green line, which is the edge of the document, um, and then extended out to the bleed edge okay and now that document is ready for uploading to the doxu website um and yeah that's it happy printing